What's going on everyone? I'm back. Sorry I've been gone so long. Haven't forgotten about you. Haven't made a video in a while. So I'm in my garage. I'm gonna show you why I haven't been around for a while. I've been really busy and as you can see, I'm, it's hot, I'm sweaty. I've been working part of the day. So flip the camera around. Uh, bleh, flip the camera around and I'm gonna show you what I've been doing. Down. Turn it up. There you go, guys. So, since the last time you saw it, I got a lot more dirt, raised it up some, got gravel in here. Thank God for that little skid steer backhoe bobcat, whatever you want to call it. That thing helped out a lot. And as you can see, parked one of the projects in here. It actually got stuck in here. I actually used it for a table for a little while but I've closed everything in pretty much there's a bunch of trim and little things I got to do but I figured you guys want to me back up I figure you guys might want to see what's going on so got some gravel now very very happy about that no more dirt for you guys that have dirt and you work on dirt <laughs> yeah gravel's a lot better I know you, a lot of you guys are going to just get concrete, but it would cost me like $20,000 right now to get concrete, but that'll be later. <laughs> but I just picked up this the other day. Well, I picked up a lot of stuff the other day. Got myself a little cheap workbench. I picked it up off of a Facebook Marketplace. That thing is eight feet long. It's pretty good. Got it for 40 bucks. So I'm happy about that. Picked up a door, Facebook Marketplace again. Nice little metal door. I just took off the, uh, as you can see, I took off the old door hinge, or door latches and stuff like that. I replaced the hinges too. So I'll be putting new door handles on tomorrow. But the biggest thing I'm excited about is start framing in the front of the shop. Also, <laughs> picked up that giant glass door, Facebook Marketplace. If you need stuff, just punt on there all the time. That's what I do. So I got this glass door. Oh, you can see me, there you are. So I got this glass door for really, really cheap. It was a 10, 10 feet by 10 feet tall. Yeah, 10 feet wide by 10 feet tall. But the problem was I couldn't make it 10 feet. I actually had to take a whole panel out and make it eight feet tall because if I made it 10 feet tall, yeah, I went overkill on that too. It wouldn't clear the rafter or the, the trusses. So I had to make it a little shorter. So eight feet tall is not that bad. I can open that up and pull my truck in just fine. But I've been building all this out so basically what I did, if you're interested, kind of show you what I did. The posts are four by sixes. And then the header is, the header that goes across is two by tens. Put one on either side. That way I can bolt up that giant spring that goes across. It actually lifts the door. And then I just tied it all in. And then later on, that door hopefully tomorrow i'll start framing in this whole area and put that door over there so oh yeah it's like a little my little tool room looks pathetic right now there's no lights in here or nothing so i'm actually i was going to spread that gravel in here just like it is out here and put my toolboxes in there but i got a better idea so now i gotta shovel all that out it's gonna suck. So hopefully I can fit that thing because that thing dumped it in there. So hopefully I can get it up that little hill and scoop it up. Because I'm gonna take the remainder of that and throw it across here. Yeah, and you can see all my crap is parked outside. <laughs> but I got a really cool idea to for you know make this look nice. Put little steps and Nice old floor and stuff like that. 
So let me know in the comments, what do you guys think? Think it's coming along pretty good? Oh, and if you're wondering, yeah, oh, that's, that'll be cleaned up. <laughs> don't even, shh, don't comment about this. This is, you know, the, the bottom was open right here, so that's closed in now. That's what those are. So it's closed in. They're bolted. They're not going anywhere. And I backfilled. So now I still need to get more of that gravel and fill all this in and pack it in. It basically goes around the entire shop like that. So once I close that, or close that, once I backfill that, that'll be done. And you can see, let's walk back here. There's more of those glass doors. I actually bought, the original plan was to put two of them. But then I realized in the middle of putting this one up, I was setting it up on the ground and laying everything out, what I was gonna have to get and need. I realized that the best part about buying a used garage door from somebody is it doesn't come with any of the hardware. The guy completely forgot to give me any of the right hardware that goes for that door. And there's no instructions either, so I had to figure this whole thing out on my own. That was a whole lot of fun. So, yeah. But the whole plan was to put two garage doors. But after I realized I didn't have all the hardware, I said, forget it. One garage door is enough. Just put a regular door on this side. Good to go. But let me know what you guys think of the shop so far, how it's coming along, what you think. If you guys like what you see so far, I swear there's going to be more car content very soon. I'm just trying to get this finished up and closed. That way, I don't sit in here and have a raccoon sneak up behind me. If you're new to the channel, this is your first time watching, thank you for being patient. There'll be more fun projects. Pro There'll be more fun projects like that and a whole lot of other ones coming up. Just been busy trying to make an actual place to put them and work on them. And uh, yeah. So if you like it, subscribe, like the video. Keep watching. I'm going to start making more videos more often again. I got a little busy with life. You know how that goes. But thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time.